On July 10th, in an interview with CNBC, former SEC chairman Mr. Jay Clayton made some very interesting statements regarding the Bitcoin spot ETF. Can they say no to a spot ETF? Well, For how much longer? Well, it goes to that issue. I think that when the SEC approved the futures-based ETF, they said, let's look at the futures market. We see the surveillance. We see, we see the protections in that market for the end investor that are sufficient. We don't see them in the spot market, so we're going to make that distinction. I think what the institutions are arguing is that those, those distinctions have gone away, and now the spot product is actually less drag, more efficient for the investor. So if there's not that delta in regulation, not that delta in what I could say efficacy, the spot should be approved. Before we delve into details, let's understand what a Bitcoin ETF is. An ETF or exchange traded fund is an investment vehicle that tracks the performance of a specific asset or group of assets. In this case, we're talking about Bitcoin, the world's most famous cryptocurrency. But what's so special about spot Bitcoin ETFs? Let's find out. Spot Bitcoin ETFs differ from the previously proposed Bitcoin ETFs, which were based on Bitcoin futures contracts. Spot Bitcoin ETFs, on the other hand, directly hold Bitcoin as their underlying asset. This means that investors would own the actual Bitcoins, providing a more direct exposure to the cryptocurrency. Mr. J. Clayton's comments raise an important question. What are the potential benefits and risks associated with the spot Bitcoin ETFs? Let's break it down. Firstly, spot Bitcoin ETFs could attract a wider range of investors, including institutions who have been hesitant due to regulatory concerns. Secondly, they could potentially increase liquidity in the crypto market by facilitating easier buying and selling of Bitcoin. Lastly, these ETFs would provide a regulated and custodial solution addressing security concerns for investors. One of the primary concerns is the volatility of Bitcoin itself. Price swings could impact the value of the ETF and increase risks for investors. Additionally, the potential for market manipulation, although minimized compared to futures-based ETFs, is a risk that regulators must carefully consider. Given the potential benefits and risks, the SEC faces a crucial decision. Will they embrace innovation and approve spot Bitcoin ETFs? Or will they maintain their cautious approach? The ball is now in SEC's court. Will they approve spot Bitcoin ETFs and usher in a new era of regulated crypto investing? Only time will tell. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time.